It's among the ethnic groups that helped to make Pittsburgh special. I'm Tonya Caruso. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. Joining us in our studios right now is Svetlana Thompson. She's the president of the Ukrainian community of Western Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for coming in and talking with us today. Glad to be here. So I love the, the story of your organization and let's talk a little bit about your history and the history of the organization. Uh, yes, uh, first Ukrainians arrived in Pittsburgh a long time ago, back in the 1880s and uh, 1920s, attracted by job offers in local mines and steel mills. Currently, many Ukrainians uh, study at the local universities, uh, as well as work in computer and the healthcare industry in Pittsburgh. So today, more than 40,000 people uh, in the Pittsburgh metropolitan area trace their roots and heritage to Ukraine. Now, even though there is a long history of Ukrainians in Western Pennsylvania, as well as many uh, small community organizations and religious centers, unfortunately, there is no one central place for all Ukrainian groups to come together uh, and uh, interact with the mainstream community. Mm -hmm. So. The Ukrainian community of Western Pennsylvania, also known as UCOPA, was established in 2009 as a nonprofit organization with uh, the uh, objectives to bring together the different generations of Ukrainian immigrants, their descendants, and actually any person who is interested in the promotion of Ukrainian culture and heritage in Western Pennsylvania, and to present educational and cultural programs at which all ages could participate. Right, and so it's really about bringing together the generations and creating a center uh, of knowledge for everyone and not just folks in the Ukrainian community. Exactly, exactly. Yes, our vision uh, is ambitious. We, uh, we uh, uh, plan to establish a world-class uh, Ukrainian-American cultural and educational center right in the Pittsburgh area that will be an international destination for um, cultural events and uh, education trips. Right. Uh, the center will also have a Ukrainian restaurant and a gallery space and will contribute to the growing diversity of our region. Right. And so a great idea, and as we continue to talk, we're putting on the screen website and phone number where folks can go for more information. You are already off to a great um, entertainment start and that you have a big film festival coming up and let's tell folks about that. Yes, we are very excited about fast approaching a Ukrainian American Film Festival that will take place place on four Saturdays in October, uh, beginning October 6th at the uh, Frick Fine Arts Auditorium in Oakland. Uh, film Festival will introduce uh, local residents to unique viewpoints and will showcase uh, films from around the world that were never available for screening here. Uh, our opening night uh, will feature um, uh, the Klitschko documentary about uh, the famous Ukrainian brothers Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko who have boxed their way from simple beginnings to worldwide fame and made it all the way to to the top together. Uh, documentary covers uh, uh, Dan King uh, having brothers at uh, his residence trying to hook them with a contract. Also the question about whether uh, Klitschko brothers will ever fight each other uh, right. has been extensively discussed over the past years. and. Film and has something to say about that right. as well. And that's just the kickoff. There are so many other great things. We thank you for coming in and spending some time with us today. We know folks will go online and check out the website for more information. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm Tonya Caruso. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll see you next time.